terrible. So I wanted to tint my headlight lenses and they ended up looking like this, such a mess. But I was going more for a look like this, just a smoke look lens. Well, I'm gonna tell you how I went from stock to that dark, nasty look to this nice smoke look. And I'm gonna show you how to do all this stuff. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll walk you through all my steps of my fails and my successes with tinting my own headlight lenses. So supposedly how you achieve this lens tint look is you put this sprayable, peelable Rust-Oleum lens tint down first in a couple of coats and then you cover it with this VHT nightshades to get that desired dark look. See the Rust-Oleum is not very dark and the VHT is and it works together and you can peel it up if you don't like it. But the problem is it didn't work that way. I started off doing a little bit of elbow grease here and getting the lens prepared by wet sanding and I think I used, you know, what I had on hand. It may have been like 1200 grit paper and a soft sponge and I just wet sanded it. You can check out my other video on headlight restorations where I show you how to wet sand the, li the lenses. This just got it prepared for the upcoming steps. Yeah, and that's where things went off the rails. Now, if we can be honest with each other, and I feel that we can be honest with each other because we're in the trust tree here, I stupidly didn't take the lights out of the truck. I mean, I show you how to do it in the video here at towards the end, but I didn't take the lights out of the truck. Why, why would I spend all this time taping and all this stuff when I'm gonna take it out of the truck? Here's my next mistake, big fail number one. Yeah, it's peelable lens tint what you're supposed to use. What did I pick up from the store? Peel coat, which is for, it's for like graphics or whatnot on the vehicle. So now not only have I wasted time taping and adding the paper as you see, now I'm about to spray peel coat instead of lens tint on the lenses. Now I noticed this when I first start spraying. I'm like, okay, there's it's a little darker than what I'd seen in the other videos. Maybe these guys weren't right. Yeah, it wasn't until I sprayed the second light, the driver's side light, that I was like, wait a minute, this thing's definitely darker. And then I decided to read the can and realize, oh, I've used the wrong paint altogether. So, guess what? I get to take all this stuff back off, peel it off, thankfully it peels, peel it all back off, and then start over. Now, you'll notice here that the lens tint spray goes on a lot clearer and probably matches exactly what the other videos show you on how to do this. And that works out perfect and it goes on pretty smooth and it does great. And in the meantime, while I do the headlights, I go ahead and get the tail lights. Look, look at this, amazingly, I take them out of the truck. Why did I take the tail lights out, not the headlights out? I still haven't figured that out, but I guess I learned a lesson and maybe I'll pay better attention next time. But anyway, I'm getting these things prepped and I'm gonna spray the clear lens tint, the right stuff on the tail lights to make those look you know, the same as the headlights. I wanna get that darker look on the tail lights. Okay, second mistake number two, I didn't put on two coats of the lens tint, the peelable lens tint. I went with one coat and I went right to the nightshades. And almost immediately, I noticed when I start spraying the nightshade, VHT nightshades, that it gives it this very, it's hard to describe it, very splotchy. Splotchy is the right word. Very splotchy look, no matter how thin or how thick you spray on this stuff, it's very, very splotchy. And just like with a bad haircut, what do you do? You keep going one step further, one step further, one step further, until you have the worst haircut ever and there's no coming back. The only thing you can do is strip it down and start over. And that's pretty much what happens here, folks, is I try to go and fix what I've messed up by adding a little bit more, another layer here, another layer here, and it turns into total crap. I mean, I'm proud to be a DIY guy, and I'm proud to be able to do things that other people can't do, but I mess these headlights up. 
I messed my bad. But thankfully, the tail light lenses actually coat a lot better. For something about the clear just made it look splotchy, but when I put it on top of the red, it blended together and I was able to get that right, nice, dark tint that I was desiring, and it worked out to be perfect. The lens, the tail light lenses look really good, but I can tell you the headlight lens do not use that combination of stuff together. It is not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay, because I did not put a good base of the peelable tint down first, I only put a light coat down. When I put the nightshade on top, it being a paint, I had to sand these lenses. Yes, sand. I started off at 320 grit and worked my way back up to 1200, 2000, whatever it was I had, just to get it where I could drive this truck on Monday to work. I mean, these headlights were ruined. There's no way I could have drove in the dark with the headlights as dark as they were. And so I had to get the stuff back off, and that's what I did. I sanded them back down, wet sanded everything out, and pretty much restored my headlight lenses like I did in the other video. I restored the headlight lenses to pretty much stock look and started over with getting the look that I wanted from there. So then you're probably asking yourself, well, Tony, how exactly did you get these smoke lenses that you're showing me here? How did you get that perfect look when you obviously screwed up the first time severely? Well, I'll be honest with you, I bought them. I bought them from Amazon. I looked at these things originally, they're like 75 bucks for two lenses, and I thought, I can do this with a spray can. So let me break this down for you. The Peelable paint that I used that was wrong the first time, the correct peelable lens tint, and the nightshades, all three of those together like $16 a can, okay? So then you figure tape, paper, time. I've got almost as much in the materials to tint the headlight lenses wrong as I did just buying these things off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below and it's pretty much the easiest way to go. It gives you that perfect smoke look that you can get. It still works with your headlights. Uh, I did go with a brighter bulb in the headlights once I get all this stuff put back together, everything adjusted. I went with a brighter bulb. I'll put that link in the description below as well so that it would be, you know, almost stock headlight color, you know, brightness, all that good stuff. But yeah, so here I'm showing you how to take the headlight lenses out. It's a 10 millimeter bolt, a Phillips head screwdriver. The lenses pop right out. You just, for 
from there you just unhook the bulbs you can either unhook the uh, quick connect clip or you can twist and pop them out like I do here and the bulbs come right out of the right out of the lens and then you just swap them out they just a pop and replace type thing put the new one in it's got the protective film on there take it off first and then just the reverse of how you took them out and it's good to go pretty self-explanatory and you get a really great look with no fuss no mess just an easy way to do it so my suggestion is just do it that way the first time and save yourself a lot of heartache wish i'd have thought of that myself and there you have it smoked headlights installed along with the raptor grill on this ford truck looks amazing gives it a mean stance and a mean look Thanks for watching, and I hope you don't spray tint your own headlights. They stink.